Question number three says that multiply and reduce to the lowest form and convert into a mixed fraction. The following bits. So we'll start with the first bit wherein we have 7 times 3 over 5. So when we multiply it, we get it 7 times 3 which is 21 divided by 5. Now this is in the lowest form. Now to convert this into mixed fraction, we have to divide 21 by 5. So when we divide 21 by 5, we get the quotient as 4 and the remainder as 1. So the mixed fraction will be 4 1 fifths. Now coming to the second bit, we have 4 times 1 over 3. So the product of these two will be 4 over 3. Now to convert this into mixed fraction, we'll divide 4 by 3. So when we divide 4 by 3, we get the quotient as 1 and the remainder as 1. So the mixed fraction will be 1 one thirds. Now coming to the third bit, we have 2 times 6 over 7. The product of these two will be 12 over 7. So when we divide 12 by 7, we get the quotient as 1, the remainder as 5. So the mixed fraction for this will be 1, 5 over 7. Coming to the fourth bit, we have 5 times 2 over 9. The product of these two will be 10 over 9. Now when we divide 10 by 9, we get the quotient as 1 and the remainder also as 1. So the answer for the mixed fraction will be 1, 1 9. Similarly, solving the fifth bit which says 2 over 3 times 4, the product of these two will be 2 times 4 which is 8 divided by 3. So on division, we get the quotient as 2 and the remainder also as 2. So the mixed fraction for this will be 2 2 thirds. Now we'll go on to the next set of bits. So now in the sixth bit, we have 5 over 2 times 6. So that is basically 5 times 6 divided by 2. So we can say 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6. So the answer will be 5 times 3 which is 15. Now coming to the 7th bet we have 11 times 4 over 7. On multiplying we get the product as 44 divided by 7. So on division we get the quotient as 6 and the remainder as 2. So the mixed fraction for this will be 6 2 sevenths. Now coming to the 8th bit, we have 20 times 4 by 5. So on dividing 20 by 5, that is 5 ones are 5, we get 4 in the numerator. So the answer for the 8th bit will be 4 times 4, which is 16. Now coming to the 9th bit, we have 13 times 1 over 3. The product of it will be 13 over 3, that is 13 divided by 3. So on division, we get the quotient as 4 and the remainder as 1. So the mixed fraction for this will be 4 1 thirds. Now the last bit which is the 10th bit we have 5 times 3 fifths. So if we divide 15 by 5 we get 3. So the answer for this will be 9. And this is how we solve this question. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.